Hi everybody, I'm Rook. Welcome to the table. So uh, the other night, my buddies and I decided to open some Scars of Battle booster boxes. We had just about eight of them, and I thought it was a good idea to stream the experience. First time doing something like that. It turned out to be a pixelated mess, so it's very hard to see. If you do want to check that out, it is over on twitch.tv slash Rook's Table. Although you won't be able to see much, you'll be able to hear uh, five or six guys screaming in the background as they play with cardboard. But I did want to take the time to shoot a quick video afterwards. We were all gathered around the table with our foils out. Um, got a quick snapshot of what everybody drew and just wanted to break it down for you guys. So we started off with Javi who opened one box. He pulled Heavy Metal Raiders which is valued at around $6. Barrel Dragon around $3.73. Troop Dragon around $3.67. Two Dekoichi the Battle Chan Locomotive. That's about $3.90. A Metal Morph which is about $8.45. Night Beam, about $9.44, and a Spellproof Armor, which is about $3.90. So that's a total of eight foils for Javi from that box, and uh, that's a total of $42.91 in foil value for Javi. These prices are taken off of uh, TCG Player Price Guide for the Scars of Battle booster box. Moving on to JJ. JJ also opened one box this evening. He pulled the Double Evolution Pill, which is valued. It's the money card that's valued at around $15 right now. A Night Beam, Mask of Darkness, which is about $3.80. Vampire Lord, about $4. Bandit, valued at $3.44. Servants of the Fallen King, valued around $2.88. A Barrel Dragon, Crystal Seer, valued around $5.57. And a Dark Red Enchanter, around $3.75. So that's nine foils from JJ's box, totaling foil value around $51. We have TV here who didn't buy a full box. He really just went out and bought a crap ton of packs. He had about 26 packs he opened. Uh, he pulled five foils. He pulled a Vampire Lord, a Night Beam, a Spellproof Armor, a Book of Life, which is valued at around $5.60, and a Mask of Darkness. That's total foil value of around $26 there. Moving on, we have Link, who was here with us. He opened a box as well. He pulled 10 foils out of his box. We're seeing an average of around 9 to 10 foils per box. Pulled a Spellproof Armor. He also pulled the Devil Evolution Pill, which is the money card. A Night Beam, Book of Life, Barrel Dragon, Decoy Chi the Choo Choo Train, Crystal Seer, Troop Dragon, Metal Morph, and Servants of the Fallen King. That's a total foil value of around $62. All right, making my way back around the table here. We have Kobe, who went ahead and bought two boxes. He had a total of 18 foils. He pulled the Double Evolution Pill, two Spellproof Armor, Three Dark Red Enchanted, Enchanter, Crystal Seer, Bandit, Barrel Dragon, Heavy Metal Raiders, Book of Life, A Troop Dragon, A Mask of Darkness, Metal Morph, One Dekoichi the Choo Choo Man, A Servants of the Fallen King, and Two Gear Freed the Swordmaster. This isn't one we, we've seen yet. Uh, that's valued at around $8 right now. So that's a total foil value of $96.77 out of the two boxes. So Kobe definitely getting his money worth. And then finally we have My Hall. I also opened two boxes that evening. I pulled the Double Evolution Pill, two Books of Life, which I'm really happy about and trying to build a zombie deck, uh, Night Beam, which is always good to have, Heavy Metal Raiders, Servants of the Fallen King, not too interested in Skull Servants, but a couple people I know are, uh, two Bandits, two Spellproof Armor, two Gear Freed the Swordmaster, two Troop Dragon, a Mask of Darkness, two Decoy Chi the Choo Choo Train, and two Dark Red Enchanter. That's 19 foils. From the two boxes that I opened, total foil value at $101.39. Average, we're seeing 18, 19 foils. Once again, we opened seven boxes and then some. Hope you guys liked this. I have the whole mathematical breakdown for you guys here. If you guys like this video, feel free to hit the like button and of course, subscribe for more. Thanks everybody.